what is up youtube and welcome back to the channel now today guys obviously we're back on some bo6 you know what i'm saying now today you actually guys might see a double upload and no quote for me on that but you might all right if you don't then you know it's coming tomorrow because i've actually been working obviously on the road to dark matter i've been working a lot on it i've been working on a couple different you know weapon types but right now i'm very close to diamond shotguns so that's probably what you guys are going to see first but anyways enough on that you know i just wanted to keep you guys in the loop so today we are covering as you guys can tell by the video Video probably or maybe i didn't put in the video i don't know but we're going over the t sarkov all right now this gun is actually pretty underrated in my opinion i barely see many people using it anyways for the optic it's going to be the volziski reflex i don't even know how to say that but you guys can see it right there you guys don't have to copy the optic that's the one thing that i would say you guys can change so if you don't feel comfortable with this optic definitely take it off for the barrel i would be using the gain twist barrel it's a pretty good barrel it gives you that bullet velocity that you need and by the way this is like an early build as you guys can see i do have some attachments empty but i've been using this class setup and this is all you need just trust me i mean look at the bullet velocity you gain just off the gain twist barrel on the rear grip we have the quick draw grip now this is once again going to give you a lot of handling as you guys can tell pretty much all aim down sight speed which you need with this gun because it is so freaking slow to ads if you don't have this on so yeah definitely a necessity next we got the light stock for the stock now this is kind of giving you more mobility that once again you kind of need because if you don't have the mobility alongside the firepower with this gun it's very bad i mean even to be honest like you need the right lobby because even with this class depending on what map you're on you can struggle you know obviously i i, I shouldn't have to say that and then last but not least i got more bullet velocity and uh, it's going to be the 7.62 x 54 mmr over pressured fire mod okay so yeah, man, this is a class. You guys can look at the bottom right, everything it helps. I mean, we can pull up the numbers right here. I'm not gonna go too in depth with these every time I make the class setup, but I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna, you know, have you guys look at it or whatever for the people that care about it. But um, yeah, it's very good, especially that bullet velocity. As you can tell, it says 50%, so it's really good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are on some Babylon, which is actually a W because this is a small map. I should be able to do my thing, but I did join late, so here goes nothing. Oh, uh, hell no. Headshot, yes sir. Yeah, this gun, you definitely gotta hit your shots, and sometimes it is hard to hit your shots with this gun, but, I mean, most of the time, especially if you're playing a map like this, you just gotta hit a couple. One shot, headshot, stop playing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, man, since I've been going for the camera grind, I've been using a lot of these really weird guns, and uh, some of them are actually kind of viable. The pump shotgun I had to get gold yesterday actually surprised me a lot because that was probably the worst gun I've used in the game, which is obviously not normal for a Call of Duty. Normally, Call of Duty games, they have really good, uh, you know, shotguns. They're pretty OP, easy to use and whatnot. Oh my God, I'm in the mix. I'm in the mix. Turn around, buddy. All right, got a UAV. No! Did he just spawn behind me? There's no way he just spawned behind me. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. I was about to say, there's literally zero chance. Let me know how you guys are enjoying... Yo, is that an A-bomb? Oh, my lord. But yeah, man, let me know how you guys are enjoying uh, BO6 so far. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. The only downside is the map's a little bit, but other than that, this game is low-key pretty perfect. Oh yeah, man, like I said in the intro, I already got my uh, my shotties close to diamonds, so you guys will be seeing that soon. And then I'm probably going to just do my ARs or SMGs, it depends, we'll see. I'm probably going to do my ARs because I already got the XM4 gold, it was my first gold gun. So I'll probably just do that. Oh my gosh, bro, this thing snaps. If you just hit your- what the heck was that? That was weird, hello? That was some weird lag right there. Or was it lag? I don't know. Oh, no! Oh my gosh. That guy kind of got spat on. Why is he laying down? Dude, oh my gosh. I'm I'm playing tactical and I forgot that that's not how you punch somebody. Yeah, I would say joining late definitely wasn't ideal. It, it definitely wasn't ideal. That's for sure. Where is this guy? They're all over there. Oh my gosh, they're all over there. Oh my gosh. Nope, 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 nope. nope. I, can't, I can't hit a bullet. Oh my gosh, she almost turned on me. What was that? <laughs> UAV, commencing 
Oh my gosh. <clears throat> right now I am level 39. Um I dude, I have some people on my friends list that are like on their way to second prestige. So I I need to get on with it. I'm not going to lie. The people that are that level though, like literally haven't gone off though. Like actually literally haven't gone off since the uh, New Zealand launch. But yeah, man, either way, the camel grind this year is, is going to be long because I mean, the headshot challenge is low key. At first I thought it was going to be easier, but now that we actually play the game, the headshot challenges are actually going to be harder than I thought, especially because I mean, snipers have headshot challenges, the shotguns had headshot challenges. And I don't know if you guys remember, but like in the old Call of Duties, you would basically have headshot challenges for all the guns at the same time, yes, but depending on what category the gun that you were using was, it would basically either go up or down. So for example, a normal gun like an AR and SMG would be 100 headshots, but then something like a sniper would be like 75, 50 headshots. I can't remember if it was 75 or 50, but it was somewhere in that ballpark. I want to say it was 75. And I also want to say pistols were like 50 or something. So, hey, yo, that was a nice lineup. Can we, give me another one. Come on. Oh man, it's split. It's split. Now it don't matter. Oh my god, we're nasty with it. See, I just had to warm up real quick. I kind of got thrown into the wolves, you know what I'm saying? I kind of got thrown in there. Bang. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, they're gonna line up! They're gonna line up! Bro, why are they spawning right here? What is this? Bro, what is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Yo, this lobby is way too chaotic. I can't even talk. I'm not gonna lie. I literally can't even get a freaking word out right now. What is going on? Oh my god, I can't hit my bullets, bro. No aim assist. Nice. Oh my gosh. Nice. Oh my god, I took him. Hey, man, come over here. Where's your homie at? Uh, let me just quick kill him. Oh my gosh. That's not a quick kill. I just executioned that man. Another chopper. We'll take that. Pop that in. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I didn't like how they basically made everything, including snipers and everything, like, you know, 100 headshots. I feel like that was just uh, a design flaw. Low-key red card, I played it a little bit more off camera once again, and it is not my favorite. I, I gotta say, it is not my favorite by any means. But that being said, at the same time, it's not bad either. It's just not my favorite, you know, like it, it could definitely be better. Let me know. Do you guys like red card? Are you guys vibing with the red card or nah? Because uh, I need to be validated somehow. And I can't believe I just freaking died to that guy. Oh my gosh. Oh, that guy got pooped on. He came around the corner trying to slide and stuff. Boy got fraud. That boy got put on a platter. Oh my Oh my god, that guy's actually horrible, maybe. Hold up. Yep, he's horrible. UAV. I didn't even know this was here. What? I literally didn't even know this was part of the map, hello? Literally didn't even know that was part of the map. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Oh, dude, I tried stimming. It was too late. But hey, man, just overall, I, once again, I'm probably sound like a broken record, but dude, I'm just so excited to just get these camos done for you guys, upload it, and just honestly, it's so fun to like just play these new games, especially, you know, like Black Ops, in my opinion, and just have content to make on it. It really does just amplify the experience. I know you guys can't, you know, all relate to that, but... You know, for my content creators, you guys know what I mean. You guys know this year, uh, I mean, like I said yesterday, you guys better hop on the on the train now before it leaves, man. Hop on the plane now before it leaves because, guys, we're going to be going up. All right, we're going to be going up. I'm going to be unlocking every camo. I'm going to be unlocking everything there is to unlock in this game. Well, for the most part, I, I don't know if I'm going to do the 100 percenters and all that, but we'll see. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Who knows? But uh, yeah, definitely drop a like on the video if you guys haven't already. And uh, let me know if you guys want more episodes of The Road to Dark Matter. And hey, man, if you guys are new around here as well, subscribe because I upload pretty much every day now. And uh, yeah, Black Ops 6 is going to be a crazy 
content filled hectic year i can just already see it this game has so much potential and knowing treyarch they're not going to just let that potential go to waste you know what i'm saying i i would say my prediction is they're going to drop if not the same amount of you know content as uh sledgehammer did last year with mw3 I actually feel like they're gonna match the amount of content they dropped and if they don't match it it'll be more it won't be because it's less it'll be because it's more you know what i'm saying like i mean it's Treyarch we're talking about here man i don't think they're gonna i don't think they're gonna let us down for real i really doubt it they've they've had our backs for a long time now so it just wouldn't really make sense for them to have this game that pretty much everyone for let's be honest man let's be real you know with ourselves here it's been a couple years since uh, you know the whole or at least be a big majority of the call of duty uh you know community really kind of like united and agreed on a game being you know good but yeah man like i just i don't know man it's been a long time since i've seen so much you know overly supportive and uh positive feedback on a call of duty and i like i said already i'm sure you guys can agree uh with me on that like it's been a while but hey man like i said definitely join the crew and uh be a part of the journey because we're gonna be going on a long long journey this year man but hey man it's enough field six for me today let me know what you guys think about the gun after you guys try it yourselves it has that one shot headshot potential and uh yeah it just packs a punch if you hit your bullets with this thing it is nasty but anyways man that wraps it up let me know what you guys thought about the video in the comment section down below if you guys want me to make a couple more class set of videos or just whichever gun you guys want me to cover let me know in the comment section down below i'll probably read it and i'll probably make a video on it enough be happened though thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys click one of these two videos on the bottom and uh yeah i'm out of here peace